guys, Sailor's from Deathhead Gaming here, and I have this. Uh, this is the Portal 2 editor, I've just sent it back to default. Uh, got shipped yesterday, like, it's free. It, just update your portal. Uh, press Q to rotate to the left, E to the right, W to zoom in centrally to your selected area, S to zoom out, A to pan left, D to pan right, R to like move upwards towards the roof, F to move downwards towards the floor, press and hold middle mouse button to free rotate, uh, zoom in with the middle mouse button to zoom towards the uh, pointer, zoom out is the same, you can click and drag here to zoom in and out, you can click and drag here to pan, you can use um, this to free rotate, uh, tab switches to game view, uh, control C and control Y is redo and undo, or undo and redo, uh, control S, you know, all the basic Windows stuff, control Q, quits, they're all written here. Um, yeah. To rebuild, it's nine, uh, F9, which will, uh, thingy it to publish, there isn't a shortcut for that. But rebuilding will build it so you can play it in game with your changes. You can press tab to switch to game view. But, yeah, you'll get this if it's not current. This is what I had earlier. Uh, yeah, tab out. Uh, to place items, you go over here and you get a list of them. Say I want to place... Well, to begin with, let's talk about selecting surfaces, actually. To select a surface, just left-click on it. To change it, click and drag. Uh, you can also press plus and minus. A bit of lag there. Um... So, if you select a surface, shift, and then click another, it will do that. And you can... By the way, control to multiple select doesn't work. So, that that's that there. Um, so, yeah. To change whether you, or not you can place a portal on a surface, select your surfaces and press P. And that will change whether you can place portals or not on it. To avoid cheating. Wait, that's... Don't want to do that. That's the developer console. Um, next, to place an object, a deadly goo. Just move and click. There's our goo. Now, let's place a track platform. Track platform should go there. Now, you've got a track platform. To extend the track, just click and drag to there. Uh, to change the orientation, uh, click the curve and drag it round. Um, to connect it to, say, this button, you click on the button and either right click and connect to, I uh, escaped to cancel that action by the way, uh, K, when you've got the button selected, does it as well, so that's that connected. Uh, right click will allow this, say, start active no, so that it doesn't go. Uh, you can remove connections and connect to from as well. Um, what else can we do? Uh, let's use one of these pistons, uh, which we want to raise to there. And we want to make it controllable by a button here. And that will make it go up, connect it to that. Um, yeah. Next, we want another track platform there, with the gun along there. Start active no, and connect to the button. There. Now we need a cube, so let's say we use a weighted cube. Put it there. Um, you can change the auto-dropping options. You can have the dropper enabled or not. You can change the cube type. Um, you can delete it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so let's just connect that to a button. Simple as that. Um, now this this is pretty much a good thing. So to build it, you can hit build and play, or you can go file rebuild, which is F9. If I do that, I'll stop the recording. So I'm not gonna. And then you hit this, and it'll do this building. Now, if you have a lot of stuff in your level, it's going to take ages to build. Now, this is a pretty small, basic level. So, as you can see, it builds pretty fast. 
And after we finish building, you go to the loading screen and it will load your level in game. So just let it load, it's pretty quick. And it will deploy you onto this. Okay. And that will light up. There's your deadly goo. So if we stand on this, it'll make these move. So we can. Now it's not hammer, so there's not lots of advanced stuff about them, it's just basic there. So this is going to move across and allow me to get to this platform, which if I hit at the right time, will rise me up, and then I can jump onto this, and then onto this, and then through the exit. Simple as that. So, it's a really good tool. You can do some powerful stuff with it. Um, I don't like how that button's worked out. That's one thing with a button, you can't really do much with it. Now there's there's all sorts you can have. You, you can have like glass panels that like move. You can have your faith plates, which are here. So let's let's expand on the level a bit. Say we want the faith plate to let's move that back. Say we want the faith plate to launch there. Just select that area and change it to non-portable. Um, yeah, and this area here should also be non-portable and this wall yeah um and this wall here because then people could cheat to go up there and next so we have our faith plate now if we go close to the floor you'll notice that the arrow representing the trajectory goes through the roof now there's two ways to fix this we can after our lag stops we can do this and send the roof up like this or we can select the faith plate and drag this orb up or down to change the trajectory so we're gonna angle it up move the target like that and if we rotate uh, I think it's going through the roof there so we will take that surface back and same with that one actually and up there we'll put one of these okay then there they're like lights and um, they're like people in rooms or they're just testing rooms um, then over there we will have don't know um, a turret You can change the angle of the turret like this. Don't know what we. Yeah, just get rid of the turret. You can have these glass walls, which you can change the orientation with that. You can make them longer, shorter, taller. So let's have a. You can laser fields, stuff like that. Um, let's have a another button here, which is connected to that door. And you have to get the um, let's, these are the stairs. Let's um, if we can like that and get that like that. We can then select this area, move it back twice, and then at the end of that, we can just want to make it impossible to cheat. That's that's another thing you have to do. Um, so we got this here. A nice feature. It would have been nice if Valve had added it. Uh, so to stop people uploading impossible tests to the Steam Workshop would have been 
to make you do the um, test before it uploaded. Uh, objects have diamonds, you can do this with them and change their kind of orientation on their block, so I want it like that. And that'll take me back across, and we're coming across for this cube, which we shall have a dropper attached to it, and we shall move the dropper up to the roof. And we shall turn both of these off because I don't like it and it seems to bug out and doesn't work correctly. We'll have a button set up um, connected to... Now when you connect it automatically draws the um, lines. So yeah, that's it good so we can just build it again. And the... Uh, building will take slightly longer because it's a bigger test, so I'm just going to pause this. Here we are back in the test, and we need our cube. Here. Now we need to get across there. Now that's not good, because I ended up in deadly goo. So we need to change the trajectory of this very slightly and rebuild it. So let's pause it again. So here we are back again. Let's just grab our cube, and then the cube goes on the platform. And Grab that. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, it just killed me. How nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's a horrible platform, you know. So, let's have one of these like that. Platforms will start moving. I think I want to change this way the button here operates. This, yeah. So this is us here, and this will open the door, but we can't get through the door, so... And it still doesn't work. So, again, we need to select it and drop it, and rebuild again. Now, it, this is good because it's just quickly dropping in and out between it and changing and making sure everything fits correctly. Loading times aren't too long and it's 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 a good little tool. Even for those of you who still want to keep using the Portal 2 authoring tools with Hammer, uh, you could make your maps on this, the basis of your maps, and that'll do a load of complex stuff. And then you could um, load them into Hammer because it saves in the same file format and do more advanced editing. One thing that I really feel that the game needs is the ability to place the spike death trap things whoa, in the editor because currently, as you saw, the item selection is quite limited even though there, there's quite a lot of items but it's limited for what there actually is. Like spikes would be nice, uh, extendable platforms would be nice as well as in one of those first levels where there's that like platform that sticks out a bit. Nope, fail. I will eventually get it. I'm failing my own test, it's insane. So yeah, along with my other test called multi-level, uh, this will be available on the Steam Workshop. I'll do this with the bottles actually. Oh, oh, I'm so good at this game. Uh, the rest of this will just be me failing at the level, if you don't want to watch it. Um, failing at my own level, which is quite embarrassing. If you don't want to watch me fail at my own level, you can just go away now, really. Yeah, I've said all that needs to be said. This is my level. Download it on the Steam Workshop. I don't know what it's called yet. Um... Yeah, but it'll be available on the Steam Workshop. Just 
grab my second cube up here onto the laser bridge and then walk across and down here and place the cube on the button and through here and that's it. So the, the one last thing I think I'll quickly cover is how to publish it. So you just kind of hit, uh, nope wrong one, uh, you hit publish and it will go it will have to build the test chamber it will build your final version of the test chamber and it will just continue doing this it will and then this is what it will give you it will give you the uh, screenshot of what you're currently thinking you have to you have to agree you have to choose who you want to publish it for so I'll publish it for everyone uh, and we shall name it don't know. See, this is this is the hardest part of making your tests. That's how easy it is. The hardest part is naming it. Um, sticky you? No, 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 no. That's not good. Um, yeah, sticky you. And description can be sticky goo is very bad. There you go. Um, yeah. It's just... That's, that's good enough. Yeah. Publish. And it'll do this. And it will publish it. And it'll publish, 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 publish. And it'll take a while. But it will publish. Uh, just pause the video. When you get here, uh, when you finish doing it, you get this. Uh, so, yeah. Like. Smiley face, and favorite, and subscribe. Yeah, that's that's required. Otherwise, your maps won't work. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so here, here it is. You can change the visibility, edit and stuff. Um. So yeah, that's that's it. And you can just come back here and really, you can restart it and give that another quick run. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoy, worth checking out my levels, um, I think they're alright, uh, I have another one, um, that's really it, I can't think, is there anything I've forgotten, no, really, thanks for watching.